Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect, but random playthrough. Um, it has been a while, if you must know. I got married and went on a long honeymoon, so that's kind of where I've been, uh, basically. Um, I believe the last thing we did was complete Pharos. Um, we did the Pharos stuff. Um, as you can see, Caden is running in place. Um, <clears throat> that's basically the last thing we did. Um, so, uh, I believe we're pretty close to end game. Um, so this this will get uh, very interesting. Um, it also took me a bit because uh, EA also released their new app, I guess, to replace Origin. So I had to go through the lovely process of EA downloading its new app uh, and replacing Origin completely. Last order of business is um, if you haven't seen the other videos, which I highly recommend, um, that way you kind of understand what everything's going on. Um, but if you'd rather not, basically what I do is, is every choice, I will either flip a coin, I'll roll a die, or uh, pick, a, pick a random number. Um, and I use like Google's varying things for that um, to kind of make this a random playthrough. So, you know, we've already seen the fruits of that. We, we've seen uh, varying degree. We've seen, uh, and again, spoilers for past videos if you haven't watched them, but we've seen uh, Rex die and we've seen uh, the Ashley Caden choice play out, which you can probably see in the background. Um, so, what, but what I also do is, is I pick missions at random too. So we don't do the missions like how I would normally do them. We do them based off of what number we get uh, on these random things, um, because that also adds a little bit of the randomness too, because. Um, if you don't know, there's a way to not get Liar until basically the end game, um, and which would have been interesting, but ended up playing out how I normally play it. We get Liar pretty early on, so um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. And we'll jump to whatever cutscene is next or relevant. So see you soon, Commander. You look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Whoa, what was going on with their eyes there? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> Stress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. It is only now that I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. 
Seren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Whoa, that was a weird transition. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we have pretty much reached the end game point, so... Um, I think what I'm going to do first is go around and talk to all the crewmates just before we launch the end game. Um, my fate is decided by dice and numbers. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, I already did those. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, Espec I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You can't argue with results. No, but there are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. You run over anyone who gets in your way. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you, to understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <laughs> so the the dialogue choice that I saw was also the most funny to me, because I often don't play Renegade, so I don't really pay attention much to the Renegade options, but I just like how there's one word for the Renegade option here, and it's just UNACCEPTABLE! So. <laughs> Which, oddly enough, that's what we're going to go with here. Don't try to justify this. You're obsessed. <laughs> obsessed? All I did was look oh up some information God. from the extranet. I would hardly call that an obsession. Oh, I apologize man. if I offended you, Commander. But you had better get used to this kind of attention. You are the first human oh, specter. The most visible representative of your species. Oh, the man. Eyes of the entire I have never watching. seen that scene before. That was just brutal to watch. Oh, and we're going in deeper, dude. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about me. On this ship, I am in charge, and I don't like my crew digging into my past. Understood, Commander. I will keep our relationship strictly professional from now on. Dang. Dang. Okay. Well, that was uh that was that was hard to watch, honestly, because oh, man, that was interesting. I've never seen those scenes before. But, I mean, it is random, and the numbers decide, so... An update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Or else I'll be mean to you for no reason. 
I mean, I guess, like, I guess some people would have a problem with what they already did. Like, I, I could see that. I could see people getting really offended about that. Like, a lot of people really value privacy, so, you know, I, I, I could see that. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. I don't think so. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. I mean, she did see the, like, Sovereign in person. So, I mean, yes and no? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Oof. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Looks like we're gonna go to the club in the wards. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand it's important, so what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Hold on, let me get this set up to where I can use. Okay. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll be treated. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! <laughs> humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I... I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? 
You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Glad you came, sir. I heard you coming out. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you that there was no way to get a message to you before you died. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. We steal the Normandy. You're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> if you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't. <laughs> I've never seen this scene before, by the way. Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something there closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can oh. do it. 
Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. That was uh, a good time for the game to glitch. Interesting. I have never brought these two on this mission, so this will be interesting. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. 